we've got another baby heaven, another goat heaven baby. Yeah. Alright guys, so we are hopping in the, we got those two traps set. The coyotes, they're about one or two fields over. So we're going to go run back and we're going to get our night stuff on. Go get our um, long iron, everything. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank each and every one of y'all for clicking on today's video. That sun is very, 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 very bright. Um, so we're kind of opening up the video. The kids just got home from school. I've been doing a few things around the house. Me and Steph has while the kids have been at school, but it's just been one of those days. It's so hard to get everything done that you need to get done. Um, we got the uh, nesting boxes in for the chickens and uh, didn't get that going on because we had some babies being born. And I'll show you that footage here in just a little bit. Um, did, did basically filmed um, the stuff going on with the baby. So um, we'll show you a little bit of that. But today, as you see, we got all this rock and we are fixing to start putting rock down to um, try to get out of the mud, to be honest with you. Um, we ended up getting seven loads of rock. Um, and I think it was a total of like 58 ton or something like that. So we're going to try to use as much as we can and uh, fix some of the driveways like we talked about before. And uh, other than that, just going through doing our daily life. And I am so thrilled that we are 9,000. As this video is being recorded, we are at 91,000 subscribers. That's unbelievable. You remember the day we was sitting on the front porch thinking we'll never hit 100,000? When we hit like 20,000 and we used to celebrate every 5,000. Yeah, yeah, we did. So, um, guys, we are 9,000 away from that, that uh, not the gold, but the silver play button. That play button, we have been looking forward to that. And uh, you kind of just kind of forget about it because there's so much that goes on. A lot of people don't realize how much work it is into YouTube especially farming animals and uh, we just love animals and uh, like I said in the last video man we got a vision and I wish we could let y'all see it but it's in my it's in my head but just I, I mean it just keeps coming to me just like everybody may, gave Noah a hard time building the ark you know he had faith he knew what he knew what he was doing and he had he had trust in the Lord and um, guys Thank y'all so much for following us along. So I don't know how much of this we're going to show you of putting the rock and stuff down, but I finally get to use the tractor and then uh, we'll show you a little bit of the babies. And if we do not get the uh, nesting boxes tonight, we'll go ahead and do it tomorrow. And then um, me and Leighton has definitely been trying to get some of the coyotes and uh, hopefully if the weather allows us, we may go try to get us some tonight. Um, we did catch, oh, that was another thing. I'm going to show you some video footage from this morning um, that we got an alert on our camera and you will never guess what we caught on the trap. But a lot of people's going to get upset or whatever, but I'm going to show y'all. Um, Daniel, uh, Dutch, uh, all of them that's been trapping has been showing y'all the, uh, what, what do you call that gap in between the traps? The anchors? Well, your traps, they have a gap in them they don't close all the way oh yeah yeah so um all of, of the traps that layton's been using has a gap so i'm going to show you why that gap's very important um because what we caught and this is just right over the fence here right here by the chicken so it's our last defense um we'll kind of go over that here in just a minute fix and start this bad boy up and go all right back up late casing I'm still learning, still learning. So we've always had this little dip here, and uh, as you can see, the mud runs through it. And it might be one of those deals that we have to make one of those, uh, oh, Kevin with Our Way Out was talking about it the other night. Some kind of drain.
Yeah, I can definitely tell this is a little light in the back. Um, so I gotta be careful about that or it's gonna jump up and down. guys I'm coming over here um, looks like we've got another baby having another goat having baby yeah hi baby Toby's up there on the hill watching good job Toby it's okay baby good job mama there you go there you go. I did have to help her. Um, she was hung in there pretty good. Get everything up out of the nose. You're good, okay, Bama. So this this uh, baby here, uh, this goat here, uh, was not actually raised here on our farm. Good job, baby. Good job. We actually purchased this goat at a sale and I decided to keep her. Good job. Yeah, you did good. Yeah. Um, not for sure how old this goat is. Um, we ended up purchasing her from a sale and um, which this area here is where most of all the goats have their babies um because most time they hide them over there um but that is a a beautiful little baby so we're going to monitor it for a little bit and steph and them just steph just went to get the kids from the school stop so um i i, I do not believe i'll have to go back and look at the records that's what we're doing is going back and looking and, and fixing our books to see when we actually got all, what animals so we know who daddy is but yeah it's been we've had babies four days in a row now so it was a little rough for mama but luckily we are here and um we can always we can always tell when something isn't right because we can hear the the screaming as you heard earlier um which she could have possibly had um you know, just, I don't know, just might've been big baby, but, um, definitely she, she would have been like that for a long time. We could have took a chance of losing the baby, but, um, luckily the baby's out. I don't know if she's only got one. We'll see. I know, I'd rather expand it. What about making this, put this on this outside, close this off, but we'll have to put a T-post over here so it stays shut, and making this area for the whole mama pen. You catch what I'm saying to make it bigger? Come on, you look like you're fixing to have a baby. You look like you're fixing to have a baby. She's like, I don't want the mud. Good job, Riley. Good job. Um, I'm not walking through there. I don't have my boots. <laughs> we let our we leave our bells up like this here. Like today, I've already wrapped one of them off here to take some of the weight off. But um, probably before the end of the day, we will knock it completely over. And what they don't eat, we'll soak this up. And eventually, when it does dry up, we'll come through with the tractor, like I said before, and load it all out.
Yeah, I definitely got to get comfortable with the bucket on where it is flat and where it's not. Because, I mean, mainly right in here is where, I mean, a lot of the driving comes through and we can actually start trying to pack some of this stuff in. Watch it, son. Go ahead and get your shovel and move out of the way. Yeah, that's the way to go right there, boys and girls. We should have a, uh, a big pipe. I'm going to dig this out and put a pipe right here so hopefully the water will run through here. I, I don't know where that pipe that. is. Huh? I think we already did that. Yeah, but I put the wrong rock in it, that said. Oh. I'll be right back. Well, good morning, guys. Uh, we just got a notification just a few minutes ago that um, looks like we got a dog on the trap. Um, it's not our dog but um, there was actually three of them. So they're not all on the trap. One of them is, but we're going over here to make, go ahead and get him off. I mean, I'm not going to dispatch it. Uh, obviously I want to try to find the rightful owner and hopefully they'll stay off the property. Hey buddy. So as y'all see, so it looks like we do have one in. It might be our neighbor. Hey, how are you? You okay? It's okay. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Here. You're going to have to. And as you see, it it, it has not broke the, broke the leg or anything. I know we have many people say okay. it catches their foot there. It's going to be sore, but it has not broke the leg. It's okay. Because um, we had several people saying that, um, um, you know, Dixie's leg was broke by a trap or whatever. Um, yeah, it's going to be a little sore and discomfort, but it's not broke. And even um, Dixie's leg was broke up here. Um, it, it would be broken down here, but it's not. So I know it's going to be a little discomfort, but it's okay. You'll have to go back home. I think this is JJ's dog. Yeah, you're going to have to stay away from here. Um, as you see, it does put a little line on it, but these traps do not, these traps do not uh, close all the way. That's the reason why there's a little gap in there. And he's got a little scrape on it, but let's look, see underneath it here. Underneath, you can see there's no blood. It just got where it actually, if you can zoom in there, Steph, you can see where it, got underneath here but the paw everything is is okay and as we're sitting here talking i'm rubbing his foot to make it feel better there was actually three dogs here um right before we showed up it shows them on the camera um I'm sorry, buddy, but you're going to have to stay away from here, okay? You're too close. Our chickens are just right there, right over that hill right there. So, um, yeah. See, just rubbing it out here. I mean, <clears throat> you can already see that the line's already pretty much gone there. Um, obviously, he knows he's been in a, in a trap. Oh, that trap set off, too. What, what did this? 
Unless Leighton made another one right there. But no, that's big. So I don't know. Yep, hut. His foot's going to be sore for a moment. Yeah, this trap is set off too. So, which I'm going to go back on the cameras and look at it. I think it might be the neighbor's dog. Um, let's see. If it is, I'm going to load him up and take him back over there and explain to him what had happened. So, come on. Come here, Pooch. Come on. Yeah, this is it. This yeah, is that's JK's. Gotta be his dog. Come on. Good boy. So the reason why I'm saying it's got to be uh, our neighbors is um, I can remember going over there and um, him hopping on and riding the side by side, and I remember this dog coming over. We taking him over there. Right yeah, now? we're gonna go ahead and take him over here. And uh, I'm going to let them know what's going on, um, which, you know, that is our trap. That is our first line of defense right there for our chickens. We probably won't do any recording or anything over there um, just because, um, you know, their privacy and stuff. But I am going to go over and talk to the neighbor back here and uh, let the dog back over there and tell them why their legs hurt. But as you see, um, you know, he, the leg is hurt, but it, it wasn't broke. Um, but that's the reason why we have cameras up on ours. So when something gets on it, we get a notification. Um, it looked like he got on there just, uh, he had probably been there about 20 or 30 minutes before we got the notification. So look at that water. Are we going to be able to make it through that? Why, Lord, yes. It's been a long time since I've seen water in the creek like this. Look at it. All right, guys, so we just made it back. We ended up delivering uh, the dog back, I think it was about two and a half miles um, north of here. Um, it was not our neighbors. We, we went over there and they said no, but he had seen uh, those three dogs and I'll put a picture up somewhere right in here. There was actually three dogs that was there and um, but over there in the area where he told us where he had been seeing those three dogs, um, nobody was there so we ended up letting it out. Um, then we seen the other two dogs come out so obviously it's in that area somewhere. Um, but as you seen his leg, um, his paw, I mean, yes, it's going to be sore for a little bit, but it, it's not broke or anything. Everybody's got the, the wrong idea about these traps that, that they're, they'll break foots and stuff because that's what they said about Dixie. Well, here's the deal. As you seen, it had its uh, paws in it, okay, and Dixie's foot was broke up here. So that's the reason why I went ahead and showed y'all this because that was, I wanted to um, show you what the trap does to a dog's foot. Um, like I said, afterwards we rubbed it out. We, we took him back to the location and I'm gonna drive over there this evening. And if I do see the, the person that lives at that house, I'm gonna stop in and let them know that, hey, you know, we got your dogs over here on our property. And that, um, you know, that's the last defense we have for the chickens. I mean, the chickens are just right there. So we have every right to protect them. Um, but that's the reason why we keep cameras on our traps so we know um, like um, in the morning time we get up and run them anyways but throughout the day we can get a notification so y'all some loud mouse you know it but anyways we're going to get started on all the other chores and I'm hoping this pipe here will be long enough what I want to do is basically I can kind of see where it's running right through here, but I want to come back, but it builds up right there. So I'm going to pull this to the side and I'm going to kind of pull back that dirt. That's the reason why I can't get projects done. I always find another one, but
Go ahead and back that up some more, son. What? Is that about in the line right there with it? Yeah. Why don't you dig it up? Huh? Dig it up. Cause that's the deal is like this usually gets covered up with uh, all mud. It makes it real muddy through here. But if we can, if this helps it, it'll be worth it. So we'll see. I'm sure it doesn't meet the expectation of a lot of people, but oh well. Probably need to do this and get that trap. Did you already set them traps back? I was gonna ask you what happened to them.
I have another bait I need to use. Second. Leave it alone, Casey. Just back up, Bubba, okay? Thank you. All right, guys, so um, we got to go set the traps back. Uh, just about forgot. Uh, most definitely because I don't want to uh, something come up here by the chickens and, and actually get them. So we're going to set the traps that way. Um, nothing grabbed them. So we got two of them set here. Um, so reason why is that Bobcat come up here the other day, missed this one. So we're hoping we'll get lucky on one of them. Oh boy. <sighs> I'm gonna go ahead and set this and it's already still got the fur and stuff under it, so. Yep, same as this one. I'm just gonna take a little bit of leaves out, though. Okay. Oh, this one's got dirt on the side of it. Probably that mud. I've already got this and I kind of sit there, so Leighton's working on that one. This is what you call. <laughs> hey, did you do this here? Uh-uh. What is that? Uh, is that a trail lean back there? No, there's just claw marks. I don't know. I'll have to go back and see if um, we actually caught anything on camera. camera. Did you set it? Yeah. Like this? Yeah. I'm professional, man. I am the professional. Is it okay if they're in the ground just a little bit? Like, yeah, like that, yeah. yeah. Didn't know no dad here set a trap, did you? Boy, I used to be do this back in my day. Not really, but it sounded good. <laughs> Do what? <laughs> I had a big rock and I went ding. Oh. I don't know what this is, but it was doing some digging. Probably a bobcat. <sighs> we'll have to see if it is. Oh, the, I know what it probably was. What? The dogs. Why would they dig? Maybe they left on them. <laughs> It's a lot harder when you ain't got leaves over here. Yeah. Coyotes. I hear coyotes. We need to hurry. Yep. Those are real close too. We gotta hurry up and go get set up because I hear some coat. We hear coats. Get deep. Twist. Twist. Pull out. We do know that there is a bobcat over here, so. Huh? I don't put it in yet. I gotta 
get the stick because this is the sticky bait. Like I got to get some more of this. What is this? Uh, sheep for sheep wool. I guess I'll have to order some more. Here you go. Here's you stick also. It's not. It's uh, like peanut butter. That's why I'm, I, we get sticks. She won. <sighs> We're good to go. Did mom take the girls? Yeah. All right. Watch, don't step over here. Mine's so good you can't even see it. <laughs> All right, guys. So we are hopping in the, we got those two traps set. The coyotes, they're about one or two fields over. So we're going to go run back and we're going to get our night stuff on, go get our um, long iron, everything. And then we're going to head up there and go try to get us a coyote. Run over there and get, uh, yeah. All right, we got everything, so this is what we've been waiting for. They finally got close enough, so we're gonna get down here and get set up, and we're gonna see if we can take care of them. So we're starting to take it over one by one. 